Welcome, everyone, to the Marijuana Times Show for March 1st, 2018. I'm your host, Joe Claire. You can find myself and many other great writers over at MarijuanaTimes.org covering the cannabis community and industry and beyond for you. You can also find these videos there as well. Every episode of the show, easily shareable on your social media networks. And make sure that you search the Marijuana Times on Apple Podcasts to find the audio-only version of the show for those of you on the go. Today we're talking about a few things. Uh, new legislation in Colorado would allow cannabis tasting rooms. What are those? Well, we'll tell you momentarily. Also an update from Arkansas on their mar- uh, medical marijuana program. And that's going. And also a video of a police chief in Mississippi allegedly, you know, it's pretty clear you see on the video, but still we'll say allegedly, just to, just to be safe, allegedly smoking marijuana on video and being uh, very explicit about smoking marijuana on video. Talk about all of that coming up. But first, of course, the Marijuana Times show is brought to you by NatureSideCannabis.com and their line of all natural organic pesticides. If you're a cannabis cultivator in a state where it is legal, you don't want to use harmful chemicals on your grow, you want to grow safe, and poison-free, and you want to use NatureSide and their products, check out NatureSideCannabis.com. You can also get the expertise needed to become regulatory compliant in your state. NatureSide is an approved pesticide for cannabis cultivation in places like California, Colorado, rather, Oregon, and Washington. So if you are a cannabis grower, you want to make sure you're doing it safe and poison-free. Check out NatureSideCannabis.com. Side is spelled C I. D.E., a proud sponsor of the Marijuana Time Show, Nature Side Cannabis. First story is from Julia Granowitz over at MarijuanaTimes.org. There's new legislation in Colorado that has been introduced that would allow cannabis tasting rooms. As you know, in Colorado, marijuana for adult use for possession and sales and growing is legal, but there are many places in Colorado where you cannot use Cannabis. If you're, uh, you can't use it in public. If you rent from a landlord who does not allow, you can't use it in your apartment or your home. If you're a tourist, there are many uh, hotels and other places you can stay that do not allow marijuana use. So for all of those reasons, a lot of people in Colorado have nowhere to use the marijuana that they are allowed to possess and buy and grow. So legislation would change that. Um, an issue, a bill was introduced in the House, the Colorado House, is being called the Tasting Rooms Legislation, formerly known as House Bill 1258. If passed, the new law would allow licensed medical and recreational dispensaries to add an endorsement to their existing license, which would allow limited on-site sales and consumption starting in January of 2019. Representative John, Jonathan Singer, a Democrat from Longmont, who's a sponsor of the legislation, said in a statement, quote, we don't need people using marijuana in our parks or on our sidewalks. And this bill will help make sure people aren't consuming more than they should and are doing it in an environment no different than what you would see in a winery or a brewery. Um, if passed, House Bill 1258 would not conflict with I-300, which is a social use uh, measure passed by voters in Denver. And um, a coffee shop was just uh, um, early in February. A coffee shop was approved to allow vaping and edibles on their premises. So this is different from what's going on in Denver with social use places, not not necessarily clubs, places for social use. This would be a statewide thing um, that, again, would be a companion piece to I-300 in Denver. Uh, The bill coincides with the goals of Colorado voters who approved Amendment 64, added Senator Tim Neville, a Republican from Littleton, one of the bill's sponsors in the Senate. See, we're providing a safe, safe, well-regulated environment for Colorado's cannabis consumers. Uh, there would be, in this case, there would be no bring your own cannabis as there is an I, under I-300 in Denver. You'd be able to purchase up to three and a half grams of flour or one gram of concentrates for vaping or a single serve edible with the state standard 10 milligram per serving dose of active THC. Of course, the Indoor Clean Air Act in the state prohibits smoking in a building, so there would be no joints or bongs or or um, pipes or, or, or any of that. So we'll see what happens. We'll keep track of this 
story for you, and uh, it's progress in the Denver or the uh, Colorado legislature, rather. I'll let you know what happens. I'll let you know if it passes or if it doesn't pass. I'll let you know why it didn't pass. This next story is from WREG.com out of Little Rock, Arkansas. Arkansas names five companies picked to grow medical marijuana. Arkansas took their first step toward launching its medical marijuana program as state regulators named five businesses. They intend to license to grow the drug. The State Medical Marijuana Commission announced the top applications for cultivation facilities, which will grow and provide cannabis for dispensaries to sell under a 2016 voter-approved measure. The panel is expected later this year to license up to 32 dispensaries to uh, sell medical marijuana. Companies have seven days. This is the five that have been approved. have seven days to pay a $100,000 licensing fee and post a $500,000 performance bond in order to receive the licenses. That seems, well, doesn't seem like a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Uh, nature, uh, the companies are Natural State Medicinals Cultivation, Bold Team LLC, Natural State Wellness Enterprises, uh, also Osage Creek Cultivation and Delta Medical Cannabis Company. Uh, so that, So things are moving in Arkansas. Now, quickly they're moving, but they are moving, and that is something. The state received 95 applications for cultivation facilities. The applications were scored by each of the five commissioners on several factors, including business ex- experience, qualifications, and finances. The commission will meet March 14th to formally award licenses to the companies that complied with the requirements. The state has also approved more than 4,100 applications for patients to use medical marijuana and will issue registry cards about a month before the drug is expected to be available legally. So again, you know, they're getting the growers are going to start uh, setting them up and getting them going then to go to the dispensaries and then the, you know, the registered patients will be able to legally buy medical marijuana in Arkansas in the near future. Uh, well, not the near future, uh, but in the future. It's still going to take a while for obviously these these companies got to build their facilities and set them up and grow the cannabis and it's still you know a long process and a long uh, road to go so to speak so far or uh, from from here on out so but still things are moving in Arkansas and that is a good thing. This last story is out of Lumberton, Mississippi. It's from a CNN and WDAM Mississippi Police Chief is facing questions over a leaked video which seemingly shows him smoking marijuana in the video. Lumberton Police Chief Shane Flint can be seen smoking what he implies is marijuana. And uh, here is the video uh, of said alleged event. But the, the police is to be- this is Lumberton Police Chief Shane Flint on video smoking what he himself implies is marijuana. Because I'm the only chief of police in Lumberton that likes to smoke weed. While we don't know when the video was recorded, at times, Christmas music can be heard in the background. I like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeers. Also in the background, what appears to be Flint's chief uniform. <laughs> Using vulgar language and a broken pipe, he laughs about being the chief of police and high. You don't know no cool Who the coolest is? Me. I'm the coolest. This guy looks like he's doing a bit more than than marijuana. You see him here in a minute up on the video as, uh, I guess, his regular public self when they try to ask him questions about the video. But he's very explicit in the video. Uh, hey, I'm the only Lumberton police chief that likes to get high. You know, like he's really, he wants people to know why you allow your why you're a police chief. Well, I guess you know being extremely inebriated and and, and stone has a lot to do with it. Why you let yourself as a police chief and admit on camera that you're smoking marijuana and why you let somebody film that, I'm not sure. To get some answers, we took our questions about the video to the police department, straight to Chief Flint. Uh, we just want to know if we could ask you um, just some I'm not, questions I don't about the your um, suspension. Your no, you don't like the camera. The reason why you may have wanted to I don't have no comment on that. I mean, it's already been covered, you know. What can we ask you about the video of you? What video? The video of you allegedly smoking marijuana. I don't, I'm not aware of any of that. I can show it to you. I don't have, I'm not aware of any of that. You haven't seen have the video? Any, no, sir. Not, I'm not aware of it. I don't have no time. Would you like to see it? No, sir. We have the video. No, he doesn't want to see it. He doesn't need to see it. He's seen it. He was in it. Allegedly. Again, allegedly. 
Apparently he got suspended in mid-February, this, this police chief did, but then he was back on the job a week later. They say it was a personal matter was the reason he got uh, suspended. But uh, people in, in Lumberton, Mississippi, his, uh, his people who are responsible for him being a police chief, um, they, uh, the video was shown to the mayor, said it was disturbing. People are not happy about this turn of events. Yeah, would you like to see it? No, he would not. He's walking away. He does not want to see it. Chief Flint was not interested in talking to us and went back inside the department. So we took our questions to Mayor Quincy Rogers, who says he hadn't seen the video. So we showed it to him. That's my What goes through your mind knowing that that's the chief of police in your city? Disturbing. According to board minutes, Flint was voted in as chief back in September by the Board of Aldermen. In mid-February, he was suspended for what city leaders and the mayor would only say is a personnel matter remaining silent when we started asking questions. That suspension didn't last long. When a unanimous vote... I said it was a personal matter. It's a personnel matter. That's why reading is important, kids. <laughs> ...from the board, February 22nd, put Flint back on the job. As a superintendent of this city, I felt that I, I should have seen this. I'm very hurt. Mayor Rogers said he had heard about a video of Chief Flint and was told the board of aldermen had it, but never showed him. You didn't ask the alderman if you could see it? Yes. You did ask? Yes, I have. And what did they tell you? Uh, that they will let me see it, but as of today, this is the first time that I've seen that. We reached out to every board member, but only one, Jonathan Griffith, called us back and agreed to talk. He says he had never seen the video and wasn't aware of any other board member having seen it either. Everyone in life makes mistakes, and so it is our intent to make sure that we investigate this matter properly. Yeah, I've had Griffith questions the video and why it was released, saying everyone deserves a second chance. Would you support the police chief in remaining in his position currently? I currently support the police chief. Yes, I do. <laughs> That's quite disturbing. I, I'm still trying to get over this video. Yeah, well, I mean, it's uh, true. Everybody deserves a second chance or whatever, but it shows a lack of judgment obviously knowing how much trouble he would get into if people saw this video. And uh, another question is, why is he using a broken pipe? I don't know if you can clearly see that it's, it's a glass bowl, but like the back half of it is broken off. So he's smoking out like the, what's left of the jagged end. I, I don't know. Poor judgment all around. And I suspect that the um, police chief will not be a police chief much longer that's for sure. Thanks, everybody, for checking us out today. The Marijuana Times Show for March 1st, 2018. Make sure you go check out MarijuanaTimes.org for all of these episodes. Of course, search the Marijuana Times on Facebook and YouTube as well to get the videos. For everybody who likes and shares and comments and helps us spread the truth about cannabis, thank you. Thank you to NatureSideCannabis.com and their brand of uh, their organic, all-natural pesticides. Great sponsor of the show, NatureSide Cannabis. Dot com. Thanks again for everybody, to everybody for watching and listening. You all are awesome, and we'll see you next time here on the Marijuana Times Show.